Coach, you win by 38 on the road, another big defensive effort. Second quarter, you hold Coker without a bucket in 8 minutes and 13 seconds. Of course, you don't shoot the ball very well in the first half, but how nice is that to see as a coach to see that defensive intensity? Well, defensively on the road, I felt like we've done a good, really good job here this uh, uh, start of the second semester. And, and, of course, you know, we were great. We were happy that, that we did a great job defensively, but as an offensive-minded team, you know, we wanted to make sure. We, we were talking about that, that 14 points, and we thought we left a lot of points uh, on the floor in the first quarter, and in, in the second quarter we certainly did. And, and, of course, they're not shooting the ball well, and they turned it over 17 times in the first half. And I just don't think we capitalized on the opportunity we had to have a bigger lead going into the half. Uh, you know, up 20, was it 21, I guess? Mm -hmm. I mean, that, that's great and all, but, but Coker's a good enough basketball team. We're on their floor that if we don't play well in the second half, they can come back and beat us. At the offensive end, you got everything corrected in the second half. What changed from the first half to the second half? I, I mean, I just think, that, you know, we have, we have a lot of good players that can shoot it and we can score. And I think, I don't know, we shot in the 30s the first half. And free throws were bad, three-pointers were bad. And we came out in the second half. And uh, I think they just rallied together and, and decided we're going to put the ball in the basket. We got some good stuff. We got some second-chance points. And I think once we got the lead to a certain point, then it's easier, obviously, to play. But uh, uh, got our shooting percentage up to, what, 43% for the game, 40.9 from the three, doing the things that we're capable and probably should do. And uh, I was very proud of how they come in that third quarter. And that's been our best quarter, I think, all year anyway from a point standpoint. You get Kayla Newman with a career high five steals. You get Brianna Smith to, to score 13 points off of the bench tonight. What's it mean for you to see some of those glue players step up? Well, and that's there were two kids that we actually pointed out, you know, in the post game talk uh, was, was Bri and Newman. You know, Newman scored two points. I didn't want to take her off the floor. Mm -hmm. We talk about those five steals, but defensively, the things that she does that does not get it into a box score. I mean. Uh, you can't replace her. I mean, it's unbelievable. She, she went out there with a little bit of shoulder injury. They cut it back to 21. If we put her back in the game, we have to go back to our press. Boom, it was back up to a significant margin again. And so I thought she did a great job. Bree brought a lot of energy. Uh, even when we were struggling to score, she got offensive rebounds, put back. She had five offensive rebounds, eight total for a five, six guard. I mean, I, I thought she played really hard. It was probably one of her better games, just all around scoring and, and rebounding the ball.